So what we're going to look at here is how DNA actually provides our body with a genetic code or a blueprint and how that information that our DNA holds is uh, actually used to sort of produce our various characteristics and how it actually operates within our body. So, so that we know that the primary structure of DNA, of a DNA molecule, refers to the sequence of bases that occur on uh, along the molecule. So it's the sequence of bases. So the sequence of bases that are that are part of the nucleotides that bond together to form our big long DNA molecule. So it's a sequence of bases. Now the way in which these bases actually carry the information or they, the way in which they actually uh, dictate uh, how our proteins are developed is via a triplet code. So basically every group of three Every group of three adjacent uh, bases on our molecule, on our on our DNA molecule. So maybe we'll have, if we have a triplet that's uh, possibly first one nucleotide has the base guanine, the next nucleotide has the base cytosine, and the next nucleotide has the base thymine. Then we can say that our triplet code here is GCT or guanine, cytosine, thymine. Now what that means is that if we have a triplet code of GCT, then it just so happens that uh, that, 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 that sequence of three bases indicates the production of alanine, indicates that the production of alanine is required. And so every amino acid that our body produces naturally has a triplet code or more than one triplet code that accompanies it. One triplet code or one base code that accompanies it. And so if that triplet code occurs somewhere along the protein, sorry, if that triplet code occurs somewhere along our DNA molecule, sorry, then uh, that signifies that will tell our body to produce that, the given amino acid. And then those amino acids are then obviously synthesized into proteins. So another important part of, uh, of our DNA information is the, is the concept of an allele. Now obviously the, a lot of the triplet codes, a lot of the proteins that our body produces are going to be the same for every person. Every person has eyes, every person has hair, and so all of our bodies are going to produce some proteins that are very similar, or some proteins, a lot of proteins, that are in fact exactly the same. However, an allele is basically a, a specific part of our DNA, which can vary from person to person. So it's a part, it's a part of our DNA. That can vary from person to person. So the allele on, so the allele in our in our DNA molecules is the part of the molecule that perhaps, for example, may give one person brown eyes while it gives another person blue eyes. And so these alleles are sort of individual characteristics that are not the same for everybody. That are going to differ slightly between people. And these alleles are therefore, these allele parts of our DNA molecules therefore differ from person to person. And so these alleles are responsible for for the fact that not every human being looks exactly the same. They're, they're responsible for lots of the individual characteristics that occur between different people. Now, lastly, how exactly do these does this this base structure actually uh, actually result in the synthesis of the proteins and the amino acids that we that we want? So we know that this triplet code tells our body which amino acids to produce. However, how does that actually happen? Well, we know that we start off in every cell with our DNA molecules. We start off with our DNA molecules that carry the uh, that carry all of the bases, all of the nucleotides from which from which we get our base code or our triplet code. And so we start off with that DNA, our deoxyribonucleic acid, which is what the DNA stands for. And what happens is another similar kind of acid called RNA or ribonucleic acid is used to kind of transcript or decode the information, this genetic information, from the DNA molecules. And so ribonucleic acid sort of finds a way to decode the information 
from uh, this, these triplet code sort of information from the DNA molecules. And what it does is it carries that information, the ribonucleic acid carries that information over to the part of our bodies or the part of ourselves where amino acids, acids are produced. So maybe if the DNA molecule has a sequence of bases, it has thymine, guanine, thymine, then we know that this signifies the production of cysteine. Sorry, not cysteine. Cysteine. So TGT signifies the production of the amino acid cysteine. So what will happen is the ribonucleic acid will, will decode that information. We'll, we'll see that uh, the base code of TGT is on our DNA molecule, and therefore it will carry this information over to the production site for the proteins, or for the production site for our amino acids. And then that production site will then actually produce the cysteine. So the RNA is kind of a messenger between the DNA and the actual production site of the amino acids. And then obviously what happens from there is our amino acids are uh, poly undergo a polymer re polymerization reaction into proteins. So that is how DNA is actually decoded in the body, and that's how it actually uh, manifests itself. That's how, that's how it carries information into the actual proteins that our body produces. So if we look at a very brief example here, then if we have our... If, we, if our DNA molecule has the base sequence, maybe our, maybe our DNA has the base sequence somewhere on a DNA molecule has this following base sequence. So that is the sequence of bases on our DNA molecule. There are a sequence of uh, 12 nucleotides on, on this in this string of the DNA molecule, and each of the 12 nucleotides has the following has the bases in this order. So we have thymine, guanine, guanine, and so on. Now, if we want to break this down and see what amino acids this is telling our body to produce, well, we have to break it down into triplets. So we have one triplet here, we have one triplet here, one triplet here, and one triplet there. So we can see here that TGG, or thymine, guanine, guanine, indicates that tryptophan is to be produced. Tryptophan is denoted in shorthand by TRP. So we know that our first amino acid that we're going to produce is tryptophan. Now GCT, or guanine cytosine thymine, indicates the production of alanine is needed. So if we See that alanine is going to be produced by that. Now TTA indicates that leucine needs to be produced. So again, we can see that leucine will be the next amino acid to be produced. And lastly, the GCC or guanine cytosine cytosine indicates that we need to produce the amino acid alanine again. And so now these these four these four amino acids will then undergo a condensation reaction and we'll have a polymer with uh, with the amino acid tryptophan bonded to with the amino acid tryptophan bonded to a molecule of alanine bonded to leucine bonded to alanine and so on as our DNA code extends in either direction. However, this is one small segment of one DNA molecule. So that is how our DNA is decoded within our bodies. Uh, each set of three bases, each set of three nucleotides, nucleotides signifies the production of signifies that the production of a specific amino acid is required. And so RNA or ribonucleic acid is used to uh, to decipher that and figure out exactly what the base code is on our on our DNA molecule, and it communicates that to the production site of the amino acids and allows those the correct amino acids to be produced. So that is how DNA actually functions and is actually used and applied within our body.